you can apply filters to an entire layer or selections of one to alter how they look. You can find these under the filters menu in your top bar. Gaussian blur will let you soften the edges and details of an area. Increasing the radius will add more blur to the image. The hue, saturation and brightness filter will let you adjust the color characteristics of the layer. You can either move the sliders from side to side, or you can input a specific value in these boxes. Use the brightness and contrast filter to make adjustments to the values of the layer. To move your filter boxes around, you can click, hold and drag the top of the box. The curves filter will give you more control of the color in your shadows, midtones and highlights than the standard hue, saturation and lightness filter. There are four tabs here for specific color ranges, overall RGB and then red, green and blue individually. While on RGB, you'll be adjusting how light or dark your image is. You can drag either of these two points around from left to right or up and down, or create new points in the graph simply by clicking on it and then dragging that point. Switching to different colors will adjust how much of that color appears in different value ranges. Low values are at the bottom left, high values in the top right. If we drag this point to the left, we'll be adding more red into the lighter values. If we drag it down, we'll be reducing the red in the lighter values. You can customize this further by adding different points along the graph. When you're done with your adjustments, hit save to accept them and close the filters window. It might be a good idea to duplicate your layer first before applying any filters. If you're happy with the outcome, you can either merge the layer down or hide the original layer in case you want to revert back to it later.